So what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel by me Barrow on Talk. Yes, I'm back with another video on the channel. In today's video then, I am more than happy to be welcomed by Barrow's number 28, Ollie Banks. How are you doing today, mate? Yeah, I'm all good, pal. Are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So the questions that I've got here then is, is quite a few controversial questions, but hopefully you'll answer them and let's get started with them so who inspired you to become a professional footballer uh who inspired me um probably my dad who, who played football at quite an high level had a good career um i was a big fan of the the, the man united team growing up with paul skulls gigs uh beckham that that era of players was a it was a good time to be around football and a, and the enjoyable time to watch football. So probably probably then that. So then the next question then is hearing about the rumours going that you could potentially be going to Bradford. Is this true? Um, the, there has been interest, um, but I. Uh, until I'm told otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a I'm a Barrow player, and I'll do my I'll do my best while I'm in a Barrow shirt. But no, I'm not I'm not going anywhere for now, mate. Yeah, a lot of Barrow fans have been saying that you should be staying at Barrow. Don't really want uh, don't really wanting you to leave at the minute. No, no, um, and I've I've heard obviously I've heard the rumours as well, and it. it I think there was a bit of interest, but yeah, I'm staying as it stands. So then the next uh, question that I've got is, what would be your go-to celebration? Um, as you've probably seen, I don't, I don't really know what to do when I, when I, probably a little knee slide is probably my, my favourite one. I yeah. Have to say. Uh, what has been the best goal you've scored in your career? Oh, best goal in my career. Um, the one against Barnsley. What a goal. It was a pretty good one. Um, the one that I scored against Forest Green in the playoffs a few years back. I was to try near that. That were probably, probably wasn't as good as the, the Barnsley one, but with it being in the playoffs and being quite a big game on TV, yeah. that, that would probably up there as well. So the next question then that I've got is, who has been the best player you played with? Best player I've played with? Uh, oh, that's a tough question. Um, Probably Adam Lafondre. It was a good career, so probably probably Adam Lafondre. Good, good, good. Uh, what's been your favourite moment of your career so far? Uh, the playoff final, probably at, at Wembley when I played for Tranmere. When we mm -hmm. beat Newport in the playoff final, that's probably me, the best moment. Why did you leave Tromia to join the Bluebirds? What excited you? Why did I leave? Um, there's quite a few reasons, to be honest. Um, the manager at the time, Michael Jolly, he, he, was, he was desperate to sign me. Um, they were they signing a few players around that time, so it, it, it seemed like a, a team that was wanting to to go and do well and obviously it, it turned out to be quite hard circumstances with, with what happened with the manager and then Rob Kelly taking over and yeah. we, did, we ended up doing quite well to stay up 
in the end. Um, but obviously, this season has been a lot, been a little bit better. Um, we've been playing some some better football, and it's been much more enjoyable. So, I'm enjoying yeah. this season more than last. <laughs> Uh, have you been talking to Ronaldo after that free tick against Barnsley, taking some tips? <laughs> no, a few people said to me, I'm surprised he didn't retweet. The, because a few people tagged him in it, especially after that other video went, yeah. went a bit mad on, on Twitter. But no, I was hoping for a, a retweet or something, but he, he didn't give me one. <laughs> Do you have any other hobbies other than playing football? Um, oh, but yeah, I play golf uh, when my wife lets me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just, just golf, really. Spending days with the kids, um, doing different things, taking the kids places. Just just things like that, really, mate. Similar to Josh, Josh Kerr, then he's interested in golf, isn't he? Yeah, oh god, yeah, yeah. Casey, uh, he always ask, he's always asking me for swing tips and stuff. But who has been the most difficult team you have come up against in my career or this season? Uh, in your career, <laughs> we played when I was playing for Tramway. We played Tottenham in the FA Cup, and they had the likes of. Deli Ali and Harry Kane playing, so that was probably one of the most difficult ones that I've played in. The Aston Villa one this season were pretty tough as well. Obviously, we uh, we got a little bit battered. That were a tough night. Yeah, uh, another question then, from a player's perspective, how hard has the training situation this season been? With I know that Cooper has said that it's been quite tough. To, uh, Tough, so wondering how it's been for you. To be fair, the last couple of months has been a lot better, been a, bit, a lot more settled um, at, a, at a training ground. Um, the first few months were were pretty tough, but as a player, you just you just get on with it. Um, it's I, I didn't mind it to be fair. You just you just kind of have to get on with it, get yeah. on with what, what's in front of you, and then just to make the best of a bad situation. So that's what we did. Who's the funniest lad in the team? Funniest in the team. Well, apart from me. <laughs> uh, Josh K, probably. Yeah, I was going to say Josh. Yeah, probably Casey. Um, Romeo Hutton's a bit of a... He's, he's, he's quite funny as well. Yeah. Um, to be fair, most, most of the lads, Connor Brown. Can, uh, can be funny when he wants to be. Uh, uh, so, next question then, um, probably the final one, is what is your five-a-side team chosen from any players current or, or retired and why? Uh, goalkeeper, Neuer. I think he's the, I think that he's the best that there's been. Uh, he's good with his feet as well, which is important these days. Um, five aside, so I need goalkeeper, two defenders, midfielder, and striker. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two defenders, I would go. John Terry and Rio Ferdinand. Midfielder, Paul Scholes, and striker, Messi. That'd be my best team. Interesting, Messi. interesting. Messi, for obvious reasons, because he's the best ever. <laughs> controversial. Be yeah, controversial, yeah. Uh, Paul Scholes, I think, is probably one of the best midfielders I've ever been. And John Terry and Rio Ferdinand were... Probably the best two centre halves for a lot, a lot of years. Yeah. So that'd be my five side team. So then there's no other questions that I could really ask you, Ollie, but it's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you for coming on, mate. Much appreciated. No problem, Paul. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Paul.